I'm at the house at 519 Mesa Ridge in the Canyon Rim subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This subdivision is in a gated community off of Stone Oak Parkway and 1604. So it's a really great location. Just a few uh, streets in this gated community so you shouldn't have too much traffic going through here. This community has a pool, playground, and basketball court. We have a lot of uh, nice landscaping here in the front, a lot of mature trees. Gonna get, get a look inside of the house. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. Square footage is roughly 3,094 square feet. Two car garage. Nice arches in the front here, and lots of nice uh, shrubs and landscaping. Some nice benches in the front. And take a look inside. Tile, uh, ceramic tile entry, it's staircase. Now let's lay out the floor plan here. To the left, we're going to have the office. Upstairs, of course, is where more, most of the bedrooms are. We do have a downstairs master's. Straight back is going to be the family room. And then to the right is the dining room with the pass-through to the kitchen. So let's start off on the left here. We have the nice double doors. This is a very large office, about 17 feet by about 15 feet across. So a very large room, built-in shelves. Nice pop-up ceiling. Definitely a great area for a home office or set it up as a second game room. We have blinds throughout the house. Here we have the formal dining room. Carpets have been professionally cleaned already. Going straight ahead we have one of the uh, coat closets. This is the half bath. A nice um, sink in your commode. Also has a pocket door there, so it kind of just uh, rolls into the into the door frame, so it kind of doesn't swing out and and uh, get anybody's way. Over here we have another nice size closet space under the uh, staircase. This is a huge living room. You can fit some really big couch sets. Again, nice high ceilings, ceiling fans throughout the house. That is a gas fireplace. Over to the right, we have the eat-in area. This is where you can have your informal dining, it's easier clean up here. You can fit a pretty good sized table. And then we have beautiful granite countertops. This is the breakfast bar area. You could put some uh, bar stools. Have a, this is an additional eating area. We got, we got two, um, two separate areas here where you could set up a bunch of uh, stools. Going into the kitchen here, we have a built-in desk. Tons of cabinet space. Just turn here. We got the kitchen island with the cooking service built in and the um, exhaust fan. Beautiful counters. Deep dual stainless sink. Nice tile backsplash. That would be where your refrigerator goes. You have the ice uh, ice maker connection. Here we have a built-in microwave and two ovens. So you got dual ovens. It's great for somebody who likes to do a lot of cooking. Let me just show you this cooking service. It's got a flat top uh, stove here. Flat top cooking area and lots of extra drawers. This is a pass-through to the formal dining. Again, we have another uh, pocket door here. So if you want to close this off, a little bit more privacy, you can do that. This is your pantry.
Then off of the kitchen we have the utility room. Get another pocket door here, just slide this out so you don't have to hear the washer dryer going on. Running when you're uh, having your dinner. You have your hookups, more cabinet space and more counter space. This leads to the two car garage. Pretty standard garage, but we do have a water softener in a the corner there. And on the other corner there, we have the um, sprinkler system. Do have a little workbench area here. Gas water heater, so that should save on utilities. Very nice open area. Since we're over here, let's head out to the backyard. To me, the backyard is kind of feels like you're in a park. It's really got a lot of nice natural shade, a lot of plants and trees. It's like going to the neighborhood park without having to go anywhere. Got line, lots of nice shade here. Let me just walk past the tree line so you can see there actually is a good size yard here. Let me back up a little bit. This is a good uh, size you want to play ball with the kids, etc. Lots of space. And then as I turn, we have the large patio, patio area, the gazebo. Lots of space here to entertain if you want to do your cookouts, barbecues, and since I'm here, I just mentioned behind those hedges are two AC units. So you have one for upstairs and one for downstairs. That helps on your energy efficiency and you can set up your own uh, temperatures for the different floors. Okay. Now through here, through the living room area, we have the downstairs masters. It is the large of the two masters. Again, a very large, all the bedrooms are very good size. Um, and most of the bedrooms upstairs are the size of a, of a masters would typically be in a home. Nice pop-up ceilings, about 10 foot ceilings there. Ceiling fans, all the blinds are already here. You could easily fit a king size bed some dressers, uh, nightstands on either side, and some huge dressers, and uh, other furniture. You could probably make this uh, like a mini office in here if you'd like, it's big, it's that big. Off of here we have the full bath, dual sinks. You got a seat, seating area here, if you wanna put a chair, and you're getting ready in the morning. Nice garden tub. Let me just scroll here before I pass it. Here is the commode. We have another linen closet here. And then we have, uh, this is, let me see, got to back up here because I'm in a closet, but it is, uh, dimensions are roughly 10 feet by six feet. So this is getting close to the size of a, of a bedroom here. Lots of shelving space, lots of uh, hanging space here. So this is a great, masters and then we'll come back here to the garden tub very good deep garden tub perfect for relaxing after you uh been driving home from work you get your stand-up shower and then going back here to the the dual sinks lots of um drawers lots of storage space all right now let's we're going to head upstairs I don't know how it's showing up in the video, but these are not blue walls. These are light, light gray walls, but because of the light shining on it, it kind of makes the shade look a little bit different. But this is all light gray in a lot of areas and a lot of other areas would be like a off-white beige uh, color. All right, let's head upstairs. All right, let's lay this out at the top of the stairs. We have 
the large game room in the middle we got two bedrooms here hall bath in the middle of those two doorways and to my far left behind me is going to be the second master is a bedroom with its own bathroom so let's go back to the front here very large I think it's about 17 by 15 17 feet by 15 feet so very large game room area this is probably the smallest of the bedrooms It's about 11 or 12 feet across but it does have a nice uh, at the peak about a 14 foot ceiling so even though this bedroom is still a good size by most standards uh, it's got the great high ceilings to uh, make it feel even larger Here's a closet space. I think we have two closets, roughly the same size. There's one, and there's the other one. Okay. Also, the bedrooms are not right next to each other, so you have a little bit of privacy between the bedrooms. This is going to be a hallway bath, upstairs bath, dual sinks, and you have a shower tub combination this bedroom is roughly 17 feet across by about 11 feet so this is a big uh, deep bedroom you go in the corner so you can kind of get the uh, size here so you could easily fit a big bed queen or king size bed and have lots of room we just walk over here to the walk-in closet this walk-in closet is really good size for a secondary bedroom uh, I think it's uh, four or five feet um, four by six feet something like that so it's a really large lots of storage space for a secondary bedroom and then we're gonna head across the game room again for the uh, upstairs masters This one also has uh, nice high ceilings, about 10 feet. Ceiling fans, really good sized bedrooms. Really good use of space for this uh, floor plan. This is also another walk-in closet. That, that is access to the attic area. So you have a decent sized walk-in here. And then you have the full bath. Your sink commode and your um, shower tub combination. It's really great to have two masters so if you have company or if you have uh, elderly guests that can't negotiate the stairs that'd be perfect for them to stay. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing you can call me. My name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Six one, or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you. Mm -hmm.